we gon' break. That's just what the fuck we do. We break. Nasimbenya babari sibero yao mama. Welcome to Nightstand. I'm Barry. That's Naz. As always. <laughs> you truly are always yourself. I am. Uh, have been since I was young. What a freak. You know? Look here. Uh, if you've heard rustling in the bushes, or you've heard the horse, as you were? Av as you've heard the um, whispers in the bushes, the rustling in the... And the red eyes from the forest. And the hooves trampling across the Sierra Nevada. I meant to say the uh, Savannah. Yes. Right. And you've decimated the agro population mm. of, uh, you know, fauna. Ah. There's cattle everywhere. The point is, today's episode is about and is called the Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah. So, man. yeah, not. Well, I told you not to do sound effects a couple weeks ago, oh, and yeah. I just did a weird cat. You have to take my sh Right, you did it first, and then I did it second. I right. thought it was appropriate. Right. So if I say woof, you say... Bark. No, I meant you would maybe go like a meow. But if I say meow, you say... Woof. That's right. Okay. Uh, so, training cats and dogs out here, as you can see, the animal kingdom is the biggest topic besides art that we've covered so far, Right, but I'll have you know we're omitting insects from this thing. Oh, that's bizarre. Dude, look, insects are eaten as protein in other countries. They are constantly frightening me when the stink mm -hmm. bug crawls up my window shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have it's, you seen these things? If that's what you call it. Dude, I just saw Barry, not an hour and a half ago, mm. suck a stink bug into a little vacuum and keep him there. And he said, quote unquote, he's now in prison with his dead brothers and sisters from half a year ago. Right. So if there's any missing children around your neighborhood... Vacuum. Run the prince. Oh my god. What? Mr. Vacuum is your new serial killer name. Right, because I suck them up. I suck those kids. <laughs> sucks those kids up. <laughs> anyway, Could be yeah. an edit there. Let's get you on this know. topic. Hippopotamus, yes. hippopotamus, scariest animal I've ever seen. If you see that dude charging, then it's time to play dead. Actually, if you see that dude charging, you are dead. Does the grizzly bear when a hippo's charging, like, Get up and be like, not today, bro. Oh, he roars, sir. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no, that's the thing is, uh, well, first of all, just so you know, a hippo, and as much as I love bears, that's a different story. I've been in many clubs. That's right. It's weird, but um, wait, what? Oh, so the hippo, bro, he does the grizzly in. You think? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, next animal is the Bengal tiger, who we've, um... What is this, a tidal boat? Well, we've venerated him in the past, and okay. I think the fight in the end, you know, all creatures are beautiful, like, I don't know how you discounted insects, but if mm. we're gonna talk about the animal kingdom, are we talking about the king of the jungle? Are we talking about... First of all, a lion got nothing on a tiger, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, why is the... I mean, technically in the, you know, if he's the king of the jungle, the lion, does, is the tiger subservient to him? No, no. Is everybody like the movie? That's not the way it works. The uh, lion, he has a big mane. Yeah. So this guy's, you know, like MGM calls him. They're like, hey, listen, man, we need you for that roar real quick. Okay. This was 1930, whatever. He's so, still on the thing. Yeah, the MGM, yeah. If you put a Bengal tiger in a uh, male lion in... And they fight? Yes. I think that tiger wins out... I would say nine times out of ten, because there's that one instance where the male lion gets the drop on my boy, but the bangle wins. I feel like, you know what, who wins is a little fun monkey who's like, <laughs> in like, yeah, it, so, oh, so this is like your, well, he jumps around, he's like very, um, right. he's very uh, mobile, mm -hmm. he's very agile, mm -hmm. he's, you know, tree to tree to tree, branch to branch, okay. the lion can't play that, the tiger can definitely not play that. Okay. I mean, no claws. So we know what a monkey would do to it. I mean, I don't know where the hell we're even getting. A tiger destroys a lion all day. But aquatic animals. Now, I need to tell you about this. This is, this is fucking freaky. And I, look, it's no secret, or 
maybe it's no secret to you or to us rather, but to you, it may be that uh, ocean water to you, to me, to everyone in this room is scary. Open water is scary, but there's no open water scarier than the Arctic Ocean. It's black. Right. The water's black. Inside this water, there's orcas. Okay. Yes. Now they're killer whales, but just wait for it. These seals are on these ice uh, flows. These, these ice, I don't know, whatever flows. F O F L O E S. Okay, true story. And these seals are like, oh, I, I should be safe. And these orcas plan their attacks and will shake yes, these things. Yes, yes, yes. I've so seen the this seal documentary. Slides off into their mouth. But here's the thing, dude. You're just, like the you're like David Rottenborough. I'm like Jacques Cousteau. Cousteau. Oh, do snow? Coo snow. Oh, coo snow. Like, no. This is the third week I think we've mentioned snow. And the in the fourth week we haven't mentioned why baby. Oh, a young Benjamin. Young Benjamin is also an animal. Oh, he's always um, nice. Dude, he was the original. He has little ears. He frigid ass nose. That kid threw the original kegger. He, I mean, dude, that was a sad day because that, that smile he's rocking is like the Mona Lisa from last episode. That's not even a smile. That's a... Right, what is it? He's bullshit. Okay, he's bullshit. Yeah. Also a mammal, though. Know what I found out recently? Only mammals give milk from their teats. <laughs> is that true? Hey, look. Is there such a thing as whale milk? Oh, no, whales are mammals. Yeah, so they got milk? I guess. Honestly, if there's that what we're a, talking about we need a market. Six? We need to develop a market for whale milk. Dude, also, episode six. This is our Return of the Jedi episode, and we haven't even talked about it. What do you mean? It's episode six. Oh, oh, this is episode six. Thus. Of Nightstand. Our Return of the Jedi episode. Right. Which, if we're going to bring in the entire animal kingdom, it must include the little bears. Uh, the Ewoks. Can I, I try I something? That. Yeah, that's sad, man. Can I try something real quick? Although yeah, I'm sure. going to botch James Earl Jones' line real here. Real here. Real quick. Uh, I think he says... Something when they're, it's like a womb, and then and they cut the tubes, it's like, shh. Oh, I love that shit. And he's like. That's the best end, end scene ever. No, no, but this is right before when they just see, you see Vader for the first time. I'm not even joking. His head, shoulders come off, and then it's a straight shot. There's no yeah. cut into the this do, So, and he says, something. That's what I see when I see B. <laughs> okay. I see that. I think he and says. like that. He, he says something like. Your skills are impressive, but you are not a Jedi yet. And that was the worst James Earl Jones impression. Definitely ever the done. worst James Earl Jones. But I'm saying, but yeah. that connects also to the Animal Kingdom because he's also Mufasa. Yeah, listen, I'll tell you right now, we about halfway through this journey through the Animal Kingdom, but I would be remiss if I did not tell you Instagram, Twitter, Nightstand underscore TV. And if you haven't subscribed, like Naz said, <laughs> You've got brain damage. How about this? Below in the comments, mm. leave your favorite animal. Please don't. That's so trite. trite. Dude, we no. need all the comments we can get. Yeah, your I guess we do. My marketing is weak. Your marketing is garbage. I get on Twitter, I spit. Oh, dude, the Twitter page, if you guys actually go there, and hopefully it's a little more settled out by the time these episodes air, but, you know, they're basically all your comedic demons being spewed out and, you know... I wake up on, picking, it's like everybody's ghost busting them up like they're just empty lost spirits. I wake up on Sunday morning. Or Monday morning or Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning. I, at like 2 a.m. Yeah, I wake up at 2, between 2 and 4. It's it's gradually shifting, but... Um, and I have a thought, but I'm like, oh, that's that's kind of cheeky and shit. You know, <laughs> whatever. Cheeky thoughts. And then I and then I just put it out there and I don't check with Naz. And then I get a text, you know, 8 to 10 hours later. It's like, hey, man... Don't want to edit you, but... Lay off this and this word and this and freak. this word. Use yeah. a freak, use a freak, use a freak. Like, did we delete those yet? Like, yes, hopefully by the time that it's, That one questionable airs. one was deleted. I mean, this guy comes up with some strange shit at 2 a.m. Like, it's not you up to You know what it's like anymore. to wake up at 2 a.m. and need coffee at 2 a.m.? No, no, no. I wake up at 2 a.m. You almost get never. home at 2 a.m. The only time I, I go to sleep at, n- like, maybe 7.30 or 8 o'clock... Is like on a Thursday, and I wake up at two, being like, "All right, it's time to party." But the only reason, not to get off topic here, but the only reason you go to bed at eight p.m. on Thursday evening is because Wednesday you've been in the recording studio, yes. with our good friend Lange, and you guys push it to 
I the think, 2 a.m. And then it's a half an hour ride home. Yeah. And then you're downing pizza. Yes. Either asleep in the Uber or, you know, singing songs with the Uber driver. And I, that's happened. Gee, so is we, that real? Oh, yeah. We've uh, one guy gave me his number and was like, and I was like, dude, you've got to come record metal vocals. That's a real story. All right. Just time out really quick. The only time you ever go to bed at a reasonable hour is when you're so deathly hungover on Thursday. Yes. From. That's the only time I'll be watching an episode with my wife. And all of a sudden there's Snorvilles. And she's when, like, when'd you get married? Oh, geez. A long time ago. I didn't even. 2015. Jesus. 2011. Okay. Our producer was. Wait, is that right? No, 2015. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, you missed by four years, G. Damn. Oh, Crazy, my Uber great. driver. One time, yeah. my Uber driver even gave me, literally, I was like, I need a base case. Like, I don't have a base. I was holding my base okay. in the car. Yeah. And he goes, you know what? He pulled over to the side of the road, thought he was going to shank me. He gets <laughs> out. He grabs a base case. No. And he's like, here you go, bud. And I was like, is this real life? Jesus. And then I rolled up to my door, fell over, couldn't unlock the door. And, uh, you know, my wife found me the next day. Uh, look, uh, covered in only a base case, like I was from, um, like the uh, the snow planet, and I was like Luke Skywalker inside the Tauntaun. The Tauntaun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just real quick, so I can bring it back to the Animal Kingdom. It sounds like you and Snap this back base to reality, this base player slash Uber driver, you two are like what I would consider the adorable, insanely adorable nature of two otters in a. Uh, shallow current of a river like rubbing our faces holding like, hand, no just holding hands as they float together i felt that way with multiple uber drivers what was this man's name why don't you I always don't have the same one dude they all they're all different i sometimes i used to what call lyft all the time lyft lyft was my main thing but then one time when it got really late lyft doesn't come around so only uber comes around and uber is the, what exactly i don't know a ride service have you ever heard of uber i've oh, heard dude, people say never, like, he lives in this town there's no ubers here <laughs> There's, I've heard people say... Uh, there's one Uber here, and it's the taxi driver from Scrooged. And he's got it every year Come around Christmas. Come back to Jersey, you moron! <laughs> exactly. Right, That's yeah, an yeah. amazing impression. Thank you. So wait, what's your next impression on Animal Kingdom? Oh, I could do an impression of an animal. Yeah. Let's each do one. Yeah, what what, what, what animal do you want? Do I want? To hear me do. Oh, do um an elephant. Well, this is classically done and shit. It's yeah, done yeah. well. I, I don't know if I can do it but smack my lips up yeah smack your lips smack my bitch up yep. oh god Fire we have a starter. segment we have a segment oh my god we do yeah the director he just uh we do have a segment what I, is it i we have to uh we have five minutes left okay but maybe we can make this so first do your elephant get the, oh yeah <laughs> good not bad i'll do a horse <laughs> that's a horse after he's tired you're gonna do a horse when he's excited <laughs> What? No. <laughs> I think you have to neigh. Not bad. All right. That. Meow, we're going to do Wait, a what? segment. The horse is excited. He's like, hey, yeah. that shit was dog shit. Rolling dice. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like what a sucker. Got a seven. Dice Jesus. a seven. Dice a seven. Yeah, you, you know how to play crap. Never watch this show ever again. Never show your children this show. Never show any per person you know this show. Right on. But subscribe, nonetheless. Um, wait, uh, listen, we have to call somebody. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Crap. Uh, phone. Got it. Here. By the way, this segment is extremely mundane voicemail pranks. Extremely mundane voicemail pranks. Extremely yeah. mundane. All right, we're going to call someone in, uh, in Maine. The number you have dialed, 20764. Terrible. The number you have dialed, 20764. Four. What is the issue? The number you have dialed two zero seven. Thank you for calling. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from three p.m. to six p.m. Leave a message. Here's both Saturday and Sunday. I will. Please leave your name, yeah. phone number, and a brief message, and we will return your call within one to two business days. <clears throat> Thank you. Be extremely mundane. Maggie. He's calling a roughly. He said, I'm here at course with the course cash. And Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, he's expired. I'm here with my thumb up my arse, wearing with a pair of Levi's. 
and I can't understand what the fuck. Are they fucking stupid? Cole's cash. You can't yell Cole's cash at the end of the voicemail. I mean, they're getting it. So great. You must first dial the area code plus phone number. Cole's cash? Yeah, Cole's cash. <laughs> it's gone dark. Hello. You have reached the residence. Please leave your name and phone number and we will get back to you. Thank you. Mikey, I'm at Cole's trying to get the Levi's for the for your sister's rehearsal dinner and uh the Coles cash it's expired i i know you said it was good but it expired in october and it's just like i don't know hi i, I think you've got the wrong number oh it, it is, is i just wanted to let you know in case it was important but he, my son doesn't have any sisters at all <laughs> You oh. got the wrong number, dear. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm just I'm at Coles and I just I really just I I've lost it. <laughs> no problem, but just to let you know, wrong number. All right, thanks so much. You're welcome. All right, bye bye. Okay, best lady I've ever met in my life. Nicest person I've ever like, nicest lady I've ever met in my entire life. That's crazy. I was going to scream Cole's cash, but then when she answered... <laughs> you can't scream Cole's cash every time you want to... I so know you're excited about it, Are but... you saying we're not going to have... Every every time we do these calls, we're not going to just talk about Cole's cash? Everybody would unsubscribe so fast, your heads would spin. I think that Cole's cash is a great thing, but honest to God, that lady wanted to be shopping with me. This lady was like, hey, listen, kid, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. Like I know she had had enough. She was like, <laughs> she was making meatballs. She was sitting there listening mm -hmm. to this message and was <laughs> like, her actual answering machine, answering machine. And she was like, can you hear this fucking? Game? By the way, a koala, best she was, animal. She was telling Dale Edward the story, and Dale was like, this kid, can oh you believe my. it? Who the, the hell? Is, who's Dale Edward? Dale Edward is like her husband. Oh, and he's like, that's so weird because Cole's cash works for me. Oh, yeah, a couple pairs of lead jeans with a built-in you know cod saying? piece. Just big old rivets on those pockets. <laughs> okay. Look, I I be honest with you. I I think we I think we've done our job here. Oh, but wait. I, oh, Animal Kingdom. You're right. Great white shark. Oh, uh fucking sperm whale. Snap to it. Snap to the turtles. Uh who wins? Bengal tiger? Oh, we've of, done this out before. of all the yeah, yeah, like who wins in the fight? Well, there you got the silver back ape. There's Here, a, well, let's let's go with this instead. We're both animals. So uh -huh. who wins in a fight? You or me? What kind? Where, what? What, are the, what, what? Where's the fight? It's a wrestling match oh. in the middle of a round circle, mm. and it's like you know we're probably seven to eight beers deep, and okay, you know, just ready to go. Well, look, I want to give you the ability to you know fight for your right to party. But I also know that if I punched you in the chest... No, no, no there's no punching. Oh. It's a wrestling match, dude. Oh. Have you ever seen a wrestling match? No, I, you know, honestly, I don't have the stamina that I once did. Um, mm. You know, back in the day, I mean, I could just wrestle. Well, I've seen Foxcatcher, and you haven't. So right. I think that's the decision right there. Okay, but I've seen The Grey with Liam Neeson, and you ain't. The Grim? The Grey. I've never seen the gray with Liam Neeson. You should Wasn't he just it. in a snowblower, like, pushing roads out? No, dude. He had glass in his hands. He was fighting gray wolves. Oh, dude. That guy needs to get a career these days. No, no, no. This was, like, the first thing after Taken. Oh, Tooken. Tooken. Tooken 2. Tooken 2. So, the incomparable Liam Neeson. The incomparable. Yeah, man. I mean, the incomparable. Listen, guys. Oh, thank Jesus, you so Mary. Much for, oh, Jesus, Mary. Oh, Jesus, Fucking Maggie. wrap it up, Oh, you fucking lying, Maggie. Jesus, you Mary. Oh, you know I loved you. Three Weissmen. Yeah, Wiseman on the sofa. Listen, you've got to subscribe, like, and just remember that we're just trying to do this to make a legacy for Barry. What the f- I'm fine. I just chill. We'll see you next time when I put Naz in a ring of fire and break his spine. I think we all know that I would be like Baraka and rip your head off. Not to extend this, but if we're talking Mortal Kombat, <laughs> now we I have to go swear into a segment. to God, Liu Kang's kick. Ooh, I I'm used to love Liu Kang. But if you are Baraka, then I'm coming with Liu Kang like, Z the hell? Z 
dude, we have to do, we have to like do a segment where we play the actual new game of Mortal Kombat, Kombat, Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Uh, 11, and we just, like, slay, slay, slay. Okay. All right? That's fine. Don't eat Shelton. So, wait, before you Don't tell, kill bugs. We will play Mortal Kombat. I will win Mortal Kombat. Bullshit. Goro. Horseshit. <laughs> Goro!